a rich history of axe making in Maine. The height of that was really in the early 20s, 30s, and there were 12 or 13 axe companies, one next to the, the other on the Messalonsky stream, cranking out hundreds of dozens of axes a week. It wasn't just axes made in Maine for Mainers. You'll find Maine-made axes from you know here to California. Axe making died around the mid 1960s because of the advent of the chainsaw, and that's really how this whole company started. Brandt Cochran really started out as a restoration business. In August of 2015, we had an 8x8 space at Thompson's Point and started restoring axes. Fall of 2016, we were in our tent talking to people and then saying, hey, we're gonna start making our own axes. And a young man named Gabriel McNeil came in our tent and we told him about it. He said, who's gonna do it? And we said, we have no idea. And he said, well, I think I know how to make axes. We had a focus group meeting of blacksmiths. The resounding conclusion of most of these blacksmiths was this can't be done. You know, we were all pretty discouraged when we left that meeting, thinking this might be too difficult for us to do, but we overcame a lot of it just by never giving up. At that point, we were too invested in the business. We'd already started this brand of Brant and Cochran. We'd been restoring axes for about a year and a half at that point. And so for us to think this is just gonna die in the water and it's not gonna happen was really not acceptable. In April 2018 is when we sold our first Allagash Cruiser. One of the things that we've talked about at Brant and Cochran is in a world that's getting more digital and virtual, you know, there is kind of a resurgence of people getting back and doing work with their hands and kind of exploring the physical world and taking pride in that. People are craving that satisfaction in taking something that was a block of wood or a block of steel and turning it into something. We've learned that you have to be patient and just keep persisting. And if it's something you love and something you really you know, have a lot of confidence behind, the rest will all come. The product that you're making has value and is quality and you're gonna put your name behind it, which is what we did with the Brant and Cochran name.